What's up, Dreamers? We're about the end of the rest. You're hopping into uh, Heart of Dixie episode number five, season number one, called Faith and Infidelity. Hopefully, it's a great episode. Hope it's a lot of fun. Hope you guys have been enjoying it. Grab like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Patreon for the full reaction. I'll cut episode over there if you want them. If you don't, totally cool. You can get episodes here on YouTube whenever they show up. So, uh, previous episode, um, previous episode, we had the heat wave episode where everybody was doing crazy stuff because, you know, the heat wave is here and People didn't know how to act, and it was all kinds of crazy shenanigans, and it was pretty out there. Uh, but overall, it was a pretty fun episode. Um, the case itself, what was the case itself? It was about uh, the woman hailing like stuff from the car, the fumes from the car, and it was making her crazy. Um, she almost slept with uh, Wade. Yeah, she almost slept with Wade. We have the stuff, obviously, with uh, Scott Porter's character who... George, um, and that whole situation where, you know, they're like friends, but obviously Lemon's upset about it. And then Lemon's obviously upset about, um, LeVon Hayes and his situation with the one girl. So a lot of chaos, uh, but let's hop in here for a good time. Here we go. You never heard of church? Pray. Dear Lord. We humbly bow our heads before thee this day and ask. A... Doors, uh, you should put some money in the basket for WD 40. Just lock the door, close the door, and walk away. Close the door Sorry. and walk away. Bye. <laughs> End it. Oh, why did he go to church? Coffee. That should be against some kind of law. Morning to you too, sunshine. You want to know why I'm not in a great mood this morning, Wade? Mm. It's because a Hitchcockian swarm of. Ah. I'm LeVon Hayes, and I'm It's Free, where it counts. <laughs> what? Hi, I'm Zoe Hart, and I'm freaked out at the moment. What the fuck was that? Let's we'll see if they were aired out of order by accident. Nope, this is episode. That's weird. That's very weird. I don't know why they, why is it aired like that, but that's. You might need a hand. Frick thinks I need a babysitter? Whoa, I'm no babysitter. I'm a registered nurse with 15 years of experience, eight of which were here with Holly. Last and Brick, episode, so I know like this office her. like the back mm. of my hand. So, so I believe Brick's they not? are. Well, they're yeah. always together. Was your hair like that before? Really, a true love story. I like your hair I looks different. Don't remember the stiffless part in Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, why does your hair look like different? Tongue, that's our preacher you're talking about. I'm confused. I'm sorry. Her hair is. Do we have any different. other patients scheduled for today? Nope. To be fair, I want to be a good Christian woman, so I'll give you a tip. How's my hair look? What? Oh. How's my hair look? How did you not? Did two hours ago? How did you not notice that? Stand an appointment at the salon every Monday. Now. This bird. Yeah, if you fix mm. that road, maybe ambulances could actually get here in an emergency. Mm. See mm. that? That's life or death. Thank you, Zoe. Uh -huh. That's a great <laughs> point. See, what better way to spend the money? This is the perfect use of the money. Uh. Okay. Let's see what you got, Tucker. Oh, Lord. Democracy at work. Okay. Really Ooh, nice you're going. Time. You're gonna go. You're going against Lemon. Mm, that's not good. I'm just gonna give her the information. Plain and simple. <laughs> it's okay. It's... I mean, how else would she have gotten it? <laughs> My whole life. I... I think. I thought they're gonna make it like he got it from an insect or something. Hi, Zoe. You look real pretty tonight. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> You know, the guy you almost killed is fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. Well, then his fault. What's happening? How is this thing spreading? Why is it spreading? Who told who? Why don't you just ask me what they're talking about? Because I don't care. Real. An organization like the Memory Matrix. Control? We're throwing the word <laughs> control out there? Okay. You know, my bedroom window overlooks the rectory, and for 15 years, not a... It's my fault. Huh? I'm the reason the Mayfairs broke up. It was me. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Earl! What? What's happening? A long face, Mr. Mayor. Just got off the phone with my agent. This is fucking weird. Such a 
I would I would think I'm in a like a cult town. Like what's I'm happening? Done. We're after the same rainbows. Grabbing my collar. Like that has fall backwards. Hey Dad. This is dad. I was right. It's time to go home. Let's go. I figured it was his dad yeah. just because of the the song thing was weird. <laughs> I don't want to get anyone in trouble. Wanda, mm -hmm. it's important. I promise. Are you the gossipy? I pierce Mrs. Mayfair's belly button. I know I'm not licensed or anything, but I just do it sometimes on the side to make money. And I gave one to Mrs. Mayfair's niece, and then Mrs. Mayfair wanted one. But she's a preacher's wife. Oh, I should have known better. I guess Reverend Mayfair took one look at it and threw her out. So you... Oh, I'm going to did, hell. Did you I use a used needle? Need a blood test? Then I'm going to need you to track down a sailor named Chase Croft because he's in big trouble. Where are you going? I have to find the Mayfairs. It turns out... There is a 1%. So your your boyfriend is 100% cheating. Because that's how you got syphilis. Um. It would be nearly impossible for anyone to deduce that the girl who gave you your belly button piercing would have had a syphilis outbreak on her hand when she did it. That was my fault, too. Rick leaves for a week, I break the town. Don't be I mean, silly, the so gossip? Sure, we, we all have our doubts from time to time. But the gossip wasn't you? one thing... This town is like Gilmore Girls Town. It's ultra weird and positive. Like, are we supposed to be on her side here? Like, she act she acted out because she thought you were gonna like, instead of just talking to you. Well, I think it's time we start looking for a house, don't you? I Man, I guess. Also, she's like cheating. I mean, I guess she's not cheating, but. I mean, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, he's paying that shit out of his own fucking money. I'm itch free. Wear a cap. Evening. All right, episode number five, Faith and Infidelity. It was an okay episode. It wasn't like, I mean, I don't know. It's probably like the weakest of the episodes we've had, probably. Um, had some good stuff, obviously. Wade, his father, the whole drunk thing. That was obviously, obviously very interesting. The lemon stuff, it's whatever. Lemon getting mad at George because she thinks George might end up leaving after they're married, I guess. Because he misses New York. I don't know. She, Lemon's a weird character. And I like that even the the people of the town are like, oh, you created a candy diorama. I'm like, why? <laughs> um, but, you know, LeVon did something nice for her, even though he doesn't have to because he doesn't have to. But he did something nice for her. Uh, she obviously probably, but she'll find out once the bridge is taken care of. Um, but, yeah, overall, there was not a lot here. We didn't do a whole lot of, the episode didn't really push forward the whole Zoe helping the community thing kind of almost destroyed the community thing. The whole rumor and the syphilis thing, and what a weird, weird way to get syphilis that they had to go around. I mean, obviously, homegirl's boyfriend was cheating hers. Um, yeah, I don't know. The thing about the episode was just kind of meh to me. There was nothing that interesting beyond the Levon stuff. Um, not the Levon stuff, the, uh, yeah, the Levon stuff, I, honestly, and I mean, the Wade stuff is the most interesting stuff, and then the Levon stuff with the helping Lemon at the end, and Lemon getting her stuff, the bridge, and George talking about New York and how much he misses it and stuff, or, I don't know, it's just an okay episode, very lackluster compared to the other ones, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it, though, gonna get out of here, talk to you guys later.